baada ya safari ya zaidi ya miongo minane Askofu mkuu mstaafu wa kanisa Katoliki Ndingi Mwananzeki ulimwengu mempa mkono wa Buriani. Safari yake ikikumbukwa zaidi kutokana na utumishi wake kwa kanisa na waumini wa Katoliki nchini. Akitangaza kifo chake kardinali John Ju amewataka waumini kuiombea nafsi yake. Taarifa zinaarifu kwa mwenda zake askofu ambaye ameaga akiwa na miaka 88 aliugua jana jioni katika mahala ambapo maaskofu wastaafu huchungwa na kupelekwa katika hospitali ya mata ambapo alitangazwa kuwa ameaga dunia papo hapo. Rais Uru Kenyatta aliongoza taifa kumombeleza mwenda zake akimtaja kwa kiongozi mwenye upendo wa kipekee. Naibu Rais William Ruto kupitia mtandao wake wa Twitter alimomboleza Nzeki kama kiongozi wa kidini alipigania haki na usawa katika jamii. Lakinara wa ODM Raila Odinga kwa upande wake amemtaja askofu mwenda zake kama kasisi shupavu ambaye wa Kenya walimuenzi. Askofu wa Jimbo Kuu la Eldoret Kimengich Dominic alitawazwa na Nzeki kama padri wa kwanza kutoka katika kaunti ya Baringo mwaka elfu moja kenda mia themana sita amemtaja kama kiongozi jasiri he accepted me to be a seminarian for the diocese and in 1986 he ordained me a priest and we worked together for many many years and later on actually 1993 is the one who sent me to Rome to study where I studied from 1993 to 1997 I feel that I have lost a father because he was a father to us as the bishop Nakuru. Baadhi ya mapadri pia wamemtaja marehemu kama kelelezo chema kwao hasa baada ya shinikizo ukapera kwa wote wanaotaka kuwa mapadri nchini. Very very is the law of the church. And anybody who want to come to church as a priest up to now my follow. If he doesn't follow get out. Mstaafu mwananzeki alizaliwa Disemba tarehe 25 mwaka 1931 katika kaunti ya Machakos. Alijiunga shuleni seminari ya Kiserian na kutawazwa padri mwaka 1961. Alitawazwa kuhudumu kama askofu wa diocese ya Machakos kutoka mwaka 1969 hadi mwaka 1971 na kisha nakuru kutoka mwaka 1972 hadi mwaka 1996. Mnamo Aprili tarehe 21 mwaka 1997 aliteuliwa askofu mkuu wa Nairobi wathu alioshikilia kwa miaka kumi kabla ya kustaafu Oktoba mwaka 2017 akiwa na miaka 75 ndinge takumbukwa kwa mstari wa mbele kupigania demokrasia ya vyama vingi nchini alishtumu vikali machafuko ya baada ya uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka 1992 those were the years of when when Kenya was a one party state and being a one party state very very few people could dare to oppose the government in power around that time but bishop ndingi could uh, tell off anybody who was not really doing the right thing and he would tell the politicians he would really speak his mind adakumbukwa pia kwa kuilaani visa vya mauaji vya kutatanisha nchini yakiwemo mauaji aliyekuwa askofu wa diocese ya Isiolo askofu Lukati mwaka 2015 Mwaka jana ndinge alisherekea miaka hamsini tangu kutawazwa. Kanisa Katoliki linatarajiwa kutangaza maandalizi ya mazishi yake wakati wote. Angela Cherur K24 Samuja